So, Mark, your signing's been known about for a while, and the Devils fans are very happy. But our first chance to uh, to catch up with you. Your feelings on re-signing again for another year, and uh, how's your summer going so far? Oh, I'm definitely excited to be back. Absolutely. Um, uh, summer's been going great as well. Just uh, already doing the training and you know getting ready for for CHL. You know, it's just found out about uh, who we're being playing, so just uh, getting ready for that. Let's jump on that CHL straight away then, because the uh, the draw was. Uh, was earlier this week uh, for Lunda. You know, they have their name on the trophy pretty much every year. That's going to be a challenge. Mountfield, uh, again, come from a great hockey pedigree, but but maybe there's a chance there to pick up some wins and uh, and grass as well. But whatever the case, another excellent experience. Absolutely, looking forward to it. That's um, you know, it's a huge thing, and and uh, you got to be prepared for it. So, I think after being in it for two years, we. I know what to expect, and we're still learning as we go. But um, you know, this year's different. We've done it two years. Um, you know, you know what to expect, and uh, you know, prepare accordingly. And, and it's going to be a great challenge. But I think that uh, you know, with the group that's that's going to be put together on that ice, we'll we'll be ready. How, how do you prepare? And I, I know you know, Waldo's not going to let us into too many secrets. But early in the season, you're hitting a, a big ice against teams that skate very well. Um, it's not elite league preparation. It's it's another level a level level above that. How do you guys kind of prepare all summer mentally and physically? I think um, you know, like I said, we've we've been in for for two years. So you know, our first year in it, we were you know, I think we lost to Davos ten one. That was a you know an eye opener when we were you know there's a different level of officiating. There's a lot more uh, or a lot less obstruction. Sorry, compared to. Um, the UK league and uh, you know it's 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 one of those things that you know we learned more and more as each year but coming into this year it's it's um, you really see how how fit these teams are and and uh, how ready they are so um, obviously we're going to be doing our part to, to be ready as well. Um, I hope you don't mind me saying this but something I was really intrigued about you said yourself you came off a, a, a difficult second season in Cardiff because of some injuries you had you came in last year, and um, obviously you're, you're a big guy, a tough guy, but you look like a middleweight. You'd slimmed down, you were faster on the ice. Was, was that conscious as well on your part? I think uh, it was extremely important to stay in Cardiff over the summer. Um, you know, I, I say this all the time, that it's the facilities that we have here to, to train over summer is, uh, is huge. I mean, back home, I mean, there's no ice, or you're going to have to travel, you know, a couple hours just to get on the ice if you, if you need to, but... Uh, it's, um, you know, I think just preparing and, and taking care of the things I needed to take care of before the season started, you know, really, really helped me to, um, you know, just be, be ready to play. And uh, I think with that, too, it just gives you the added confidence that you've, you've done the work, you know, you're prepared. And I think that just, um, you know, worked together with, with uh, wanting to come back hungry as well after a season like that. Awards night, you were named Coach's Player of the Year. Um, again, I'm not revealing any secrets because Lordo mentioned this at awards night. So I'm just going to ask you two points. First of all, how did it feel to, to win that when your coach taps you on the back like that? But he also told an interesting story about how in preseason he likes to get on a, a few guys' backs and, and maybe it was you last year and uh, you and him had some constructive conversations. Um, you know, I think to win that award was, was great. and it's, uh, it's a Definitely a special award. I think there's, you know, it could be you could give that award to a lot of different guys on the team as well. But so it was definitely pretty, pretty special to to get it. Um, you know, at the start of the year, it's uh, you, know, you said how Florida was, you know, how he was. But uh, I think that's important. I think you got to do that with your with your older older players, and you got to hold those guys accountable. And um, you know, I don't think he has to, it's not a, a thing he's looking to do. And it's, it's, I think he just has his, his, uh, you know, certain leadership group. You got, those guys are going to be the ones trickling down and, you know, that's no problem. It's, uh, I think, um, you know, when everyone's going in that way, it's, it, uh, the team definitely, you know, works a lot better. When the Devils, uh, around about autumn, early winter last year, lost uh, Blood and Farina, um, I guess you were the the next in line 
uh, you always step up for your teammates anyway, but but maybe the uh, the main man here in Cardiff, you've always done it very well, but last year you had uh, a, a number of bouts where you had a huge amount of success in particularly getting uh, a couple of shots off early uh, and, and that punch on a great warrior in Zach Fitzgerald went, went pretty global. Um, again, it's always a hard question to ask. For you going into a game, what's your mindset? Do you, do you think a fight's going to happen? Do you prepare yourself and... Uh, or, or do you just let the emotion, the game situation take over? I think it's, I think it's a great question. There's, um, the game's definitely changed compared to what it was even five years ago. It's, it's, it's changing uh, every single year. It's, it's, there's so many more, um, there's more skilled uh, players, the game's quicker, you know, everything's changing. You're starting to see that completely almost, you know, out of the game. So before a game, you know, Obviously, you need to be prepared. You're not going in thinking, you know, it's going to be an easy night by by any means. But uh, just kind of have that mentality. If you know, if there's an opportunity in the game, or um, you know, something's happening with with uh, where you have to stick up for one of your players, and it uh, all kind of works together. So um, you know, obviously, you have to be prepared. But uh, it's not like you're you know going looking for it either. It's uh, it's it's. Um, it's kind of a new style compared to the way it was before. What I wanted to ask you, and I ask this kind of as a, a you know, proud of my Cardiff heritage, you're, you're someone who's coming from the outside and, and forget about the hockey for a moment. You, you, you seem to enjoy just being here, living in the city and, and, and that sort of thing. What is it that's, that's made you feel so at home in this place? I think, uh, I think it's just the people, the people of Cardiff. You have the, the fan base, you have, um, you know, the friends that I've made here and, Obviously, the, the guys in the locker room, it's, uh, you know, you don't really, I'm trying to think of a better word to say, but it's like, a, it's a family here, and, you know, I think everyone's, you know, pushing the same direction that starts from, you know, the ownership group, the front office with, you know, Todd and Katrina and, and Fina, things that they do, and, uh, and Chris as well, and, you know, then you have all the sponsors, some of the, some of those guys have been, uh, you know, tr tremendous towards me and, and treated me really well. And, uh, and of course the the fan base. So I think when you're playing with that behind you, it's uh, you know and it's not just in the rink. Like you you go on the street, you you see people, and um, you know everyone's been extremely respectful and uh, you know just really really nice people. So I think just to answer the question, it's it's pretty easy when when all that's uh, all that's going on, and you know definitely happy to be here. So I've got to finish on a light-hearted note, and you mentioned the fans there. Uh, ever had a, a fan uh, have something tattooed on his body to uh, to sort of respect and represent you? What was that like when uh, when uh, you saw the work of art on Baz's leg in the uh, in the tattoo parlor? That was uh, that was a new one for sure. I, uh, it was um, you know it was pretty crazy. I wasn't sure if he was if he was going to follow through with it, but he was definitely shows by his uh, his passion and, and dedication that he's he's not joking around there. So. That was pretty cool. I mean, just seeing his face and how um, how excited he was, and you know, it's just it's nice to be there and be a part of that as well. Like, you know, and then uh, you know, that just hits hits a nail on the head right there with Baz. He's he's uh, you know he's passionate, dedicated, and he's he's a great guy, and you know, got a lot of time for for Baz for sure. Well, Mark, uh, you mentioned it feels like a family. We're very happy to have you as part of the family for the fourth year as a Cardiff Devil. Welcome back to Cardiff. Oh, thanks a lot, John.